I haven't been on the internet in a long time and I'm a little rusty, so bear with me. <laughs> guys it's been a long time i'm back and i've got a story time sephora had me up. i went to a sephora one day and i found my perfect shade now we all know how hard it is to find your perfect shade i had forgotten my wallet so i vowed to go back the day comes this particular day though i wasn't feeling as sprightly as i normally do i just threw on some black pants black top i threw my hood on i grabbed the rally and we went out the door we get to the sephora i make a beeline for anastasia beverly hills because that is the foundation that contains my perfect shade cool golden if you wanted to know if you're my color make a beeline i get there they don't have my shade they're sold out by this time, we had already gone to like three different stores. I'm looking around for a rally because I need to discuss our options. Do we want to stay here and just find another foundation? Do we want to make it work with this shade right here? Or do we want to continue the mission? So I'm looking around for a rally. A Sephora lady, she comes up to me and she's like, are you looking for someone? I'm like, no. Well, yeah, I'm looking for my friend. She's like, is there anything I can help you with? Well, you don't have any testers out, so I'm about to try this on. And she's like, well, let me help you with that. I'm like, I don't like your attitude, and I'm already debating whether I want to spend my money or not, and you are not. You're not helping. Anywho, she gives me back a tester, and I put it on, the shade looks like crap, and I go to find a rally. No sooner than I get in the general vicinity of a rally, does this lady appear again. I see you found your friend. Bitch? Excuse me? I see you found your friend? Did you think I was lying? We left the store and I got a glimpse of how it actually looked and I was like, I look like a thief. I had gone out dressed in all black in a hoodie and I'm looking around suspiciously and opening product that I have no business opening on my own. She treated me like I'm a thief. I'm appalled, shocked bedraggled if you will it really brought me back to when i was working at ulta and i would hear over the intercom the manager of the store saying to all of the employees when certain people would walk into the store we gotta watch that when they look like a thief you better watch that when they look like they came straight from the ghetto i exaggerate not a person of color saying about another person of color and nobody batted an eye nobody was like yo that's kind of that's mean <laughs> But at the same time, I understand because it's like, how can you suss out the thieves? What are the tellers? Maybe, maybe the tellers are. And if you see a person and they're taking things and putting them into their bag or stuffing them into their underwear, that person is probably stealing. I think that's a good way to go about it. It's not even a race thing. Sometimes I've seen white white trash people walk into a place and I was like, mm, they about to raise hell. What is that? What kind of prejudice is that? Prejudice against your fashion choice? I don't know. Do you see the dilemma here? Do you see it? Does it matter that Aurelia and I went on to steal samples from two other Sephora's thereafter? I feel like I, I get it on both sides. But let me know in the comments below what you think or if you've ever been racially or clothingly profiled. It's been gone a while and I'm glad to be back. I'm probably not gonna be uploading on a regular basis, like once a week, like I was, but when I do, I'll let you guys know. Whew. All right, so I'm gonna get out of here. You can see my bed, you can see that it's dirty.